In today's video, we're going to take three identically folded and tied t-shirts and we're going to get three completely different results based on how and where we lie the die down on the shirts themselves. It's really fun. It's a great way to learn how to get specific and duplicatable results for future projects. Come on in and check it out. I think you'll enjoy it. So, I took three t-shirts, just did a basic V pattern with them. All three are identically tied and folded. And what we're going to do is by laying the die out differently on the shirts, we're going to get three completely different results. I'm probably about to run out of battery here soon. So I'll see you when we get to the die of the first one. So here we are, we're going to dye the first shirt and in this one what we're going to do is we're going to apply the dye right on each actual segment. If you look at the segment between each of the ties, that's what we're going to do first. For the first two I used Peacock Blue, Lavender, this was Deep Cherry or deep purple, I apologize, followed by lemon yellow, new emerald green, this is kingfisher blue, back to the lemon yellow, back to the kingfisher blue again, and then we'll go to the second one. Again, we laid these colors out in the exact same order. But this time what I did is I laid the die out so that outside of the first one, the first one I did actually on the segment. But then I applied the color actually right where the ties are. So that lavender is right over a tie and on either side of it. Same with the deep purple, same with the yellow. As you can see, I'm just going on either side of the actual ties. And this will give me a completely different effect than the way we dyed the first one. And then we come to our third shirt. This one, I mixed the combination of a little bit of everything. I did one whole segment. In the second segment, I actually split it. So for that yellow, deep purple, lavender, that's all kind of on a segment. And then the deep purple splits again on a line. And then I kind of go back and forth. I do one on a line, I do one split, I do one on a segment. Um, and by mixing this up, I get different results throughout the entire shirt. And we'll see in the final product exactly what kind of difference that can make in your shirts. So now we have some ice on them. I'm going to give them about two hours. I'll flip them over, see if they need to be touched up on the other side. Then I give them a rinse in a very in cold and warm and very hot steaming water, as hot as my fingers can stand. And then I wash the shirts in Synthropol, which is a textile detergent that stops the dye from reacting with the shirt so that when I wash it out in the hot water, all the excess dye will come out and it won't bleed back onto the shirt. Then I put it in a, a dry, I do that on hot water. Then I dry it on, on permanent press and then I give it an iron and we'll show you what the final results are. So here they are, here's our three shirts. Came out pretty cool. We'll kind of go through what the difference is in each one. 
so that you can kind of get an idea of how you can get certain specific effects in certain sections of your shirt. So here's shirt number one where we actually dyed right on the actual segments like in between where we actually tie so the fat part of the segment this gives you a, a kind of a generalized kind of a, a little bit of a i call it almost like a skeleton effect you get a lot of these little lines like those green lines that run kind of like a v inside of the purple heading toward the yellow and it, it it's a it's a really neat kind of general effect but you'll notice is that if you look where the first V comes down where that bold deep purple V comes down you don't get a lot of powerful effect you get a very softer effect on that kind of emblem there in the center when we go now to our second one you can kind of see that by dying in between the segments dying where the actual ties are you'd get a much different type of effect with each of your segments and that emblem toward the top where that deep purple at that inside of that bottom of the V of the deep purple you get a, a bit more detailed effect in there and you also you know as I say you can you can get a little bit more of these kind of like rose petal effects like the deep purple had sometimes I get them to come out like hearts it's kind of cool um, so you know play with that idea you'll you'll get some different effects and then we have the third one where I mixed it up. I did some segments, we did the whole segment. I did some where I laid the die out on where we actually did the tying. And I had some segments like that green in the middle where I did an entire segment that way in one color. So you can kind of see that by mixing the different effects, you get something a whole lot cooler. You know, some people like a, a solid effect all the way through of the results I got on these three by dyeing them differently. I simply prefer this particular one. Colors came out really cool and that emblem in the center of the V uh, up at the top came out absolutely outstanding. So really, really like it. But like I said, play with it. It's a great way for you to learn how to get specific effects for certain sections of your shirts, for different patterns that you wanna do. Let me know if there's something you wanna see. This is actually gonna be the first in a series of techniques. I'm going to show you how to get different effects from all different types of techniques, different ways of folding. The way you fold a shirt can give you a different effect. How different techniques on how laying the die can give you different effects. Color. Uh, we'll go through some certain tricks for uh, when you do certain types of designs, like when you do emblems that have a, an actual pivot point, we'll, we'll kind of go through those. So it's going to be a whole building block series. I hope you'll turn tune in and I hope you'll let me know down in the comments section, you know, what you want to see. What, what do you want to learn? What do you want to do more of? What would you like to be better at? Let me know in the comments section or you can email me at Diverse Designs. That's D Y E verse designs at yahoo.com love to hear from you i am diverse designs living for the better good of all hoping you are too